So pretty much most of us know what a porcupine looks like, right? They're kind of big and they're slow and they're rodents and they get the sharp quills on their backs and you really don't want to be too close to them. No, but so. they're <laughs> fascinating to watch and yes. so cute. But what many don't know much about is a virus that's being found in porcupines all across Maine. Alex Haskell is with us this morning with details on that. Oh no, Alex. I know, not good news guys, but it's really interesting. So back in 2014, a virus was found in a skunk in Canada. And so the virus was named Skunk Adenovirus 1. Since then, biologists have found the disease in porcupines right here in Maine. Little is known about it, but the state can play a big part in changing that. We have a healthy, robust porcupine population in the state. They're very common. Chevenel Webb is a wildlife biologist at the Maine Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife. She's tracking the emerging skunk adenovirus that's infecting and sometimes even killing porcupines in the state. There was the case in Bar Harbor where there were multiple dead porcupines found on the same property. Something Webb says is concerning. We admitted two young porcupine showing signs of upper respiratory infection. Shelley Spanswick, the director of Center for Wildlife in York, says one of those porcupines tested positive for the virus. It's new for Maine to see that. Samples from the state's infected critters have been sent to David Needle at the University of New Hampshire Diagnostics Lab, who's trying to learn more about the virus. There's a lot of different mammal types that are being infected. Like hedgehogs, foxes, and raccoons. That's evidence that the virus is mutated. There's still a lot unknown about the virus, including whether it can infect humans. Needle says it does not appear so. We are looking to do a study about this virus specifically. I think it's concerning. Porcupines are pretty widespread, and they have a large impact on forest ecology. So biologist Chevenal Webb encourages Mainers to keep their distance from all wildlife. And again, she says overall Maine's porcupine population is healthy. And this virus is something that they just need to keep an eye on to continue to protect porcupines and the rest of Maine's wildlife. Alex Haskell, New Center, Maine.